something very unusual happening in uh, the Arctic, having to do with a growing, very quickly growing glacier ice cap. And uh, they still don't understand why they're trying to figure it out. Sputnik News reports, Speed Demon. Arctic glacier goes from 60 feet per year to 60 feet per day. How is that possible? New observations of the Vavilov ice cap glacier in Russia's Arctic territory have revealed the massive ice sheet has radically increased its speed from 60 inches annually to about 82 feet per day, according to the well, 82 feet per day, according to NASA. How, it, maybe they made a mistake. I mean, how is that possible? Beginning a sudden surge in 2013, the rapid movement has climatologists rethinking the speed of melting glaciers in cold, dry areas of the northern hemisphere. Previously catalog cataloged as traveling 60 feet annually, yeah, if it's not 60 inches, 60 feet annually, uh, to about 80, now it's gone to 82 feet per day. 60 feet annually, new research using satellite imagery shows that the Arctic glacier has jumped up to moving 80 feet a day. How is that possible? That means that, what are we, coming into another ice age? Can you imagine 80 feet per day? Signaling changes in the speed of global warming according to weather.com. What warming? It's increasing. The glaciers are increasing. Glaciers in extremely cold polar environments have been thought up to now to be very stable, typically receiving little moisture rarely moving more than a few yards per year. New studies of the Vavilov ice cap near the October Revolution Island in the Kara Sea north of Russia's Siberian regions by University of Colorado, Boulder glaciologist Michael Willis have revealed, however, that the glacier is now moving much faster than previously thought. I should say so. The fact that an apparently stable cold-based glacier suddenly went from moving 20 meters per year to 20 meters a day, was extremely unusual, perhaps unprecedented, Willis noted. The numbers here are simply nuts. Before this happened, as far as I knew, cold-based glaciers simply didn't do that and could not do that. He's a glaciologist, so he's a, he's a specialist in this, and he should know. Landsat satellite imagery collected since 1985 show the observations to be accurate, and this is according to NASA, between 2000 and 2013, this Vavilov ice cap glacier crept along at a very slow pace of some 60 feet per year. But in 2013, the ice river began to rapidly accelerate, more than doubling the size of the ice shelf over the Kara Sea, while concurrently thinning over the land. The rapid surge has raised additional concern for other high latitude glaciers on warming planet, according to Willis. This event has forced us, he said, to rethink how cold-based glaciers work. It may be that they can respond more quickly to warming climate or changes at their bases than we have thought. This is what Metro UK has cited. Well, if the um, glaciers on land are thinning and um, the ice cap uh, in this area is increasing, it could be that there's a melting of the land ice and uh, going into the ice river and creating an increase in the ice river because of the melting on the land. Obviously, because of the warming, um, warming climate. Logical. So this is on Sputnik. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.